fashion and this is my answer. We were set to design a table that was more utilitarian in use. I chose needlepoint as my medium and with each yarn I'm symbolizing a location. It was actually really interesting to be working with like a new group of people and people that we didn't immediately think we would relate to. We have an extraordinary space in the Sheila Johnson Design Center. It has two galleries, an auditorium, the archive, large windows, huge screens. It's a space that can be an incredibly dynamic public space for Parsons and for the university. What's special about this gallery is its ability to continually connect the classroom to its exhibition spaces, to connect the university to its environment, and to connect all the divisions across the university. It is a core part of the mission of Parsons and the New School to be socially engaged. It's one of the things that distinguishes us, and our galleries are a way for us to be able to broaden that social engagement and to advance at the same time the issues of design. What we're standing in is the Anna Maria and Stephen Kellen Gallery, which is the largest space and faces onto 13th Street. Up the ramp, we go up to the Arnold and Sheila Aronson Galleries, which face Fifth Avenue. So we are, in a sense, always on display in everything we do. We have been chosen to exhibit our show at the Aronson Gallery. One of the reasons we're excited about this exhibition is because of the exposure that it offers us to both the Parsons community and the general public. There's a giant window on Fifth Avenue. I still can't believe this. Yeah, it's real. It's unfathomable. <laughs> students and faculty who exhibit here are involved in a series of provocations. They're moments in a larger dialogue that's taking place in the world and they're active interventions in that dialogue. So it's not just a display of their work, it's a display of their work in a context. I think museums and galleries will be responsive to the nature of design by making the way that they exhibit more interactive. That in itself will yield an understanding of the nature of design being a more interactive, communal, collaborative kind of activity. It's absolutely extraordinary. It is great to see the students congregate here to be able to learn in an environment that is so positive and so wonderful. It's a place that inspires them to continue to learn and continue to want to exhibit everything that they've done. 